Hello brothers and sisters, this is Tina. It's time for our daily devotional. Today, I picked a passage of God's Word so we can understand the importance of doing our duty and having God in our lives. Almighty God says, There are many rules and restrictions in the work that man does, and the human brain is too dogmatic. What man expresses, therefore, is knowledge and realizations that are within the scope of his experience. Man is unable to express anything apart from this. Man's experiences or knowledge do not arise from his innate gifts or his instinct. They arise because of God's guidance and direct shepherding. Man has only the faculty to accept this shepherding and no faculty that can express directly what divinity is. Man is unable to be the source. He can only be a vessel that accepts water from the source. This is the human instinct, the faculty that one should have as a human being. If a person loses the faculty that accepts God's word and loses the human instinct, that person also loses what is most precious and loses the duty of created man. If a person has no knowledge or experience of God's word or his work, that person loses his duty, the duty he should perform as a created being, and loses the dignity of a created being. It is God's instinct to express what divinity is, whether it is expressed in the flesh or directly by the Spirit. This is God's ministry. Man expresses his own experiences or knowledge, that is, expresses what he is. During God's work or afterward, this is man's instinct and man's duty, and it is what man should achieve. Although man's expression falls far short of what God expresses, and although man's expression is bound by many rules, man must fulfill the duty he should fulfill and do what he must do. Man should do everything humanly possible to fulfill his duty, and he should not have even the slightest reservation. Amen. From God's words, I can understand that in the human life, we have so many rules and regulations we follow. So we follow these rules that we put into place as we experience different things. And God reveals what man expresses is knowledge and realizations that are within the scope of his experience. So as we have experiences, we can express our knowledge within those experiences. And that's all we're actually capable of doing. And God reveals that our experience and knowledge do not arise from our own gifts or instinct. They only arise because of God's guidance and direct shepherding upon us. God arranges everything in our life or allows everything in our life. So God arranges the environments for us so we can have different experiences in our life. Without God, we wouldn't have these different experiences. When God created us, he created us with certain faculties that we could have, certain traits. And God reveals that we are unable to be the source. And we don't have the faculty to express directly what divinity is. God is complete divinity. So he can can express what divinity is because we are not the source. God is the source of life. And we have to feed off that source of life. And so we have to be able to follow God. Without God, there is no life. And so God reveals if we lose the faculty that accepts God's word and lose the human instinct, we also lose what is most precious and we lose the duty of created man. Because God had a purpose when he created us. Now that God has returned, we are learning to do our duties to be able to follow God, be able to learn how to worship God and honor God according to God's standard. So we have to have knowledge and experience of God's word and his work, or we lose the duty of what a created being means, actually, and we lose the dignity of a created being. And so God reveals that it's God's instinct to express what divinity is, whether he's in the spirit or whether he's in the flesh, because that's still all part of God's ministry. And we can only express our knowledge within the work of that ministry. God puts everything in place and we can follow in suit and 
an example is 2000 years ago when the Lord Jesus came, he came in and issued in the age of grace. Man cannot do that, but God can. So man was able to follow in suit and share their experiences and things along the way. Now that God has returned, he's ended the age of grace and opened up the age of kingdom. So also now we need to follow in suit. We can share our experiences of what we've gained, what we've learned, and we can share that with each other, but God is still the source. So we want to be able to follow God because without that, we lose the dignity of what God created us for and the dignity of being a human or a created being as God created us. Yeah, this passage is pretty deep. So if you'd like to share your understanding on it, please feel free to do so. And that's my limited little bit of understanding. So everybody have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.